Hi, I'm Andrea from Cross Country and I'm here with Stefan from Air Design to learn about the new products. So, what do you want to know? Um, what products do you have maybe that have just come out? Because I've heard you maybe just released or so just passed certification. Mm -hmm. And uh, what projects you might have for the future? Uh, so the current range, you see in the background, it's uh, the Susie, our uh, hike, and hike and fly around glider from mm -hmm. ENB to ENC D. Uh, and the latest size is the size 13, but this is more like an expert size, really small, but also certified and um, aiming for the Dolomite, uh, Dolomite man and such kind or mm -hmm. really for the speed junkies we call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. To I go down the mountain it. really yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, it's very extreme, yeah. But the other sizes are really more for for everybody, you can say for hike and fly. And we got a very huge uh, weight range on each size, so mm -hmm. almost 50 kilograms. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on the on, on the pilot itself uh, um, for what he is using the glider. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's using in the standard loading. That means the glider is more like a intermediate glider, low level B glider, mm -hmm. very forgiving, very easy very nice flying so it's like like a standard wing actually you know mm -hmm. and then you go into the extended range it's like it's an overloading but it's still certified there yeah, yeah. so you're going more like uh, you know the character is the same but everything is then faster more speed yeah, yeah. more agile you better handling more, more respond well. more fun mm -hmm. yeah for stronger wind fly yeah, yeah. coastal soaring and stuff like this so um, actually it's very tough for the pilot itself to choose you know mm -hmm. which one yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we made it uh, 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 a table mm -hmm. with the loading and the size so you can choose whatever and you pick your weight and then you see the size mm -hmm. and which and what which to choose kind of condition yeah. you want to fly exactly, in exactly yeah. exactly yeah so what else yeah yeah the world is our enc glider mm -hmm. uh it's positioned in the middle of the enc category um it follows actually the the philosophy of the of the world one and the world two mm -hmm. which was said to be a uh, easy flying enc glider mm -hmm. like this is our philosophy of the enc glider Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, it's uh, top performance, very fast, very good handling and everything. So it's uh, yeah, the E and C glider, mm -hmm. very for everyone. And you've got the new Easy. We got the Easy as well as the E and A glider, mm -hmm. but E and A doesn't mean to be a um, school glider. So mm -hmm. it's a really fun glider. That's why we say sexy handling. Mm -hmm. So it's really it's really fun to fly, not only only in the school, sort of, but even uh, afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, gives a lot of fun, and also we have a lightweight version, a super light version. Mm -hmm. So you can choose between whatever you want, yeah. light for hike and fly or standard, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it also has a, a broad range of usability, and you have a long time fun with under this glider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that not, there are not that many brands doing lightweight versions of A-gliders, but it's good that you're giving customers that option. Yeah, we have the full range actually uh, on, on lightweight gliders. On the performing gliders, like on the Volt or the Rise, mm -hmm. high-end glider, we only make one version, which is actually light mm -hmm. but durable. And on the on the ENA, uh, we had to do two versions, standard and light, mm -hmm. because uh, the, um, for teaching you wouldn't use a, a lightweight, so yeah. Uh, yeah. This is true. So, but we actually we have a full range from the beginner, hike and fly, up to the performance gliders. Everything in light, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. And even special gliders like the U for single surface. Everything's mm -hmm. light. So, yeah, yeah. I guess we are quite uh, well known now for being for offering light yeah. gear equipment gliders. Yeah. I think you mentioned before you have a new tandem coming out. Yeah, it will be available around in two months. What is now? September, September October. Yeah, beginning of November, December, mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah, just uh, recently certified. Uh, it's the Ride 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is completely different on this one is that it's really different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, normally it's like, you know, if you're a, a, a pilot, you mostly have to choose a bit between the size. Oh, shall I take the large one? But then I'm sl slow with lower weight or the smaller one. Ah, and then I'm really fast with things. So we were thinking about why not making the right size? Mm -hmm. So we made a medium size, which is 39.5 square meters, right. but we were adding a, a special profile, which is creating more lift. We call mm -hmm. it a high lift profile. Mm -hmm. And then we have the benefits of both. We have a, a bit more compact surface, mm -hmm. which benefits uh, flying with lighter passengers. Mm -hmm. uh, so you still have the speed mm -hmm. and the handling and everything. Yeah. But if you're loading higher, the high lift profile comes into play and then you still can load up to 215 kilos. Okay. And you know, well, and you have the same uh, character on the glider, yeah? mm -hmm. you're not overloaded really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So actually on the right three, you have the biggest practically usable weight range mm -hmm. on a tandem glider ever. Yeah, yeah. So 
so there's no compromise, lower work rate and upgrade, yeah. So we, we extended the real uh, usable range really dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it's, uh, we improved even the, the takeoff behavior, it's lifting up very straight on mm -hmm. and, uh, as soon as over your head, mm -hmm. even when you load higher, this is because of the profile. Mm -hmm. And the handling, we, we, did a, we paid a lot of attention on the handling to reduce the brake pressure and, and the agility, so mm -hmm. you would be really surprised when you do your first turns, it just hooks in like... Yeah, because tan tandem pilots always complain about having really yeah, it's very sore arms after full days of flying. It's very difficult to, mm -hmm. to reduce the, the weight, uh, the brake pressure. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I guess on the right three, we managed uh, to have a very well, a very agile, and a, re a very good respond on the brakes. So it's entering really fast, really almost like a solo glider. Mm -hmm. Makes really fun to fly it actually. And for long flying longer, we reduce the brake pressure. We Invested a lot into this, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's really nice flying. Yeah, and easy. of course, landing is very easy, good flaring conditions. So I guess the right three fulfills all the demands for 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 tandems. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's uh, for free flying or for commercial. Mm -hmm. So I guess everybody should be happy with this one. And I think uh, just to, to finish off, I think I've I've heard there's some rumors of something different and really special coming out soon. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Different glider, I mean? Uh, yes. Uh. Yeah, there's two more concepts now we are working in, and they're going to be uh, into the final uh, um, design process, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, we were we are designing some uh, um, a two-line glider with an aspect ratio of seven and uh, trying to put out yeah the maximum of performance, of course. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we reached uh, the the goal for the performance, mm -hmm. speed, and everything, and mm -hmm. handling. We're really happy with this. And now the next months will show. Uh, uh, yeah, the testing. What happens? Yeah. What happens? Yeah, it's not. It's, will it's will not you? A funny work, I would tell you. <laughs> will you? Uh, will Will you envision it to be an END or a CCC glider? No, aspect ratio seven END. Mm -hmm. So it will be fully certified, mm -hmm. like in the standard EN. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's going to be tough. But we We will see. Yeah. And, and uh, you mentioned there's two. What, what would be the other one? Uh, the other one, yeah, of course, uh, the, the UFO is coming now, uh, yeah, into some years, of, yeah, mm -hmm. it's getting old now, and um, yeah, we have a lot of prototypes and concepting, and we were following a lot of different uh, uh, approaches uh, and directions, how to improve the design, and mm -hmm. that's why it took so long, actually, we took the time, and because we really wanted to have the next level and the next, uh, um, I would say, um, yeah, better. Yeah, to improve everything, you know. the next generation actually, yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah. Yeah, and I guess now we, uh, we are on a point where we say, okay, now we achieved all the points uh, mm -hmm. we were aiming for, like, okay, more speed, uh, um, uh, the flaring uh, is now very well, also the, did I say performance already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also in sinking air, yeah. performance and everything, and everything, it, the glider feels more balanced now, more like a, a, a standard glider, mm -hmm. so it's uh, it's getting closer, getting mm -hmm. closer, yeah, it's, 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 I guess the, it's getting more and more uh, difficult for the customer to choose, yeah? either yeah, yeah. going for the Suzy or for the UFO then, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it uh, shouldn't be my problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Um, you said that the Tandem, the, the Rise, is coming out in November? The yeah, the right, so END and the new UFO. When when do you predict that it might come out? Uh, I would say next year for the next, next season. Okay, yeah. so we're we'll ready for the season. Yeah. Stefan, thank you so much. Thank it's great much. knowing more about uh, air design, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, thank you. Bye.